Hey guys, this is Ozzy from Wellness Oz Syndrome, where I provide unique views, advice, and stories for you, the passionate traveler. For many of you who are interested in going to Nigeria, the first thing you are going to need is a Nigerian tourist visa. I am here to tell you why you need at least one and a half months to get a Nigerian tourist visa prior to going on your flight. A lot of you from what I read in the comments from past videos talking about this subject are very interested in going to Nigeria. I think that's a phenomenal thing. I think the more people who travel to Nigeria, the more likely these visa requirements go away as the government sees that a lot of people around the world are interested in going to Nigeria. Unfortunately, many of you guys are not giving enough time to apply for the visa and get the visa in time to make it to your flights if you go through the Nigerian Embassy or the OIS services. Now, I noticed that there's some of you guys who will say they got it within a few days, but in most cases, people need the time to apply and turn in their applications so they can get enough time to get their visas stamped into their passport. The first thing we're going to talk about are travel documents. The reason why you need to give at least one and a half months at least is because you need to collect your travel documents. With your travel documents, you need your plane ticket, a hotel, maybe it could be an Airbnb, maybe a place that you're staying with a family or friend, and your passport pictures, and your passport itself. You need to collect all these documents and make sure, especially make sure your passport is current and has enough pages so you can get the stamped visa into it. Without it, you are going to have very difficult time trying to apply for your visa. It's very important to have that space in your passport and make sure it's current. For some of you, you need to check it right now before you even consider purchasing a ticket to Nigeria to make sure that you have an updated passport that's good to go. For many of you guys, collecting all these travel documents might take some time and it might be a little difficult depending on your situation, but you need to give at least one and a half months because of collecting so much. There's gonna be a lot of documents you're gonna need to turn over to the OIS or the Nigerian Embassy. The second thing we're going to talk about is the process. When you apply online, you need to have all these documents, but all these documents must be in digital format. So your passport photos that you took, maybe you went to some drugstore to get it taken, it needs to be in a digital format to where you can put the information online on the OIS website if you decide to use the OIS website. Now, here's a tip. If you decide to go to the OIS, which I recommend you do, you do not need a letter of invitation. If you go through the Nigerian embassy, you need a letter of invitation. So to save you time, make sure you go through the OIS service to avoid having to provide a letter of invitation. When you go on the OIS website to apply for your visa, you need to have your passport, the front cover with your picture and your information in, on it and your passport photos. You need all those stuff to apply to your visa. When you apply for your Nigerian tourist visa on the OIS website, you need two main things. The first thing you need is a copy, digital copy of your passport photos. Two, you need a copy of the front page of your passport. That one has your pictures with your information on it. You need those two things to be digital and to be able to put online on the correct format and size. So just be aware when you apply for a Nigerian tourist visa that you only have a few moments that you can take breaks off of it before it resets and you have to start all the way over and it's it will become very frustrating which adds time it is the reason why you need to give plenty of time so you can get through this and understand how to go through the format of applying with the OIS website. The third thing is you need to turn in your application. For many of you guys, you have to drive out to a consulate, an embassy, or an OIS office. For me, I had to drive up to DC. Really, I had to go to Rockville, Maryland to turn in my application. So this is gonna have to take some time where many of you will have to 
set a time of day where you have to take vacation days to go up to your consulate, embassy, or your OIS office to be able to turn in the paperwork. This might have to do with a lot of planning, making sure that the office is open at certain times, making sure you have your schedule set for your visa and your biometrics. You have to give yourself enough time to get up there and turn in your paperwork. I recommend that you give yourself at least three to four weekdays, working weekdays, to be able to turn over your application and make sure you have enough time in case the office closed for some reason so you can turn your application. Also, make sure you have money on hand because there might be an extra fee you have to pay and you wanna have that money on you to hand over. When you go through the process of turning your application, you turn your application, you wait a bit, they review your application, make sure you got everything, make sure you have everything in hand, documents, the express envelope with a paid stamp, you be able to send your passport with your stamped visa in it to turn in back to you. Then you're gonna do biometrics where they take a picture of you, they scan your finger, make sure that you have everything and you're good to go. And that is the process. Now, the next step is you wait. So that's another reason why you need to give yourself plenty of time because of this next reason. The fourth reason is human error. You have to take in consideration that humans are holding your passport. There are one human who has an expectation of another human to be able to turn over their passport that has their stepped visa in it back to that human. Humans make errors. They're making mistakes every day. And on top of that, they're processing so many applications with so many people who are interested to visit Nigeria that chances are there's going to be some form of mistake or another. When your visa gets stamped, it's gonna to go to another human called the US Post Office. And many of us have seen at some point or another where the post office has made the wrong mistake of putting the mail in the wrong mailbox. This is why you need to give yourself plenty of time because you never know that where you might be the victim of human error where they meant to send it to the right place, but really they sent it to the wrong place. By giving yourself plenty of time, you get an opportunity to ensure that your stuff is being sent to you. If there is, you have plenty of time to figure out where your passport is and where it's sitting. That's why it is very important to check every day when you turn in your application. Right after you turn in your application, you need to be checking it every day to make sure it is coming back to you at the place that you wrote down when you applied for the Nigerian tourist visa. So make sure you keep track of everything that you do out there so you can be able to get it back on time. I talked about this a little bit, but the fifth thing is mailed passport. Again, we're talking about humans handling your passport that you're trying to get back so you can go to Nigeria legally and with authorization from the Nigerian government. Again, it is a slow process and even though you have a mailed express with a pay stamp, it is going to take some time because it's going to have a lot of people trying to process to get their application approved and get their passport stamped so they can go to Nigeria. That said, you got people who are working in the mail, off, mail office and they're turning in your, your passport. But like I said, you never know when there's going to be that kind of mistake and you need to be prepared for it by checking it every day so it gets to your hands as soon as possible. So make sure that if you get a tracking number, which you will, that you check on it constantly every day until you have it in your hand, knowing that you have a stamped tourist pass visa in your passport. If you found this video very helpful, check out my other videos about Nigeria. I show a little bit about the black marketing out there. Also, I also discuss more about how to apply for it, what to expect. Check that out. There are tons of videos, not just on Nigeria, but me traveling through the world that can help you out. So go check them out and I'll be seeing you later. Peace.